While playing Smash Bros, you have probably eventually hit a mental plateau or simply stopped getting better at Smash. Now in this video, I'll be talking about why I feel like this happens, what you're missing out from all this, and how you can eventually fix it. First off, let's talk about how this really happens and how it's happened to me and how I hope that I can help you fix it in the future. So simply put, all this block comes down to when your pride does get in the way. So when this thing does get in your way, many people start to think of these two ways of thinking. Either I lost because the enemy is a tryhard slash no life that plays the game way too much or way more than I do, or that anybody worse than you is a noob and you have nothing to learn from them. This way of treating the game really makes you believe that you have nobody to learn from because anybody better than you is a no life and you don't want to be that, and also you don't want to be a noob so you don't want to learn from anybody below you. This makes you think, well, he's a tryhard so I do have nothing to learn from him, and of course that noob can't tell me anything useful. This type of thinking will really hinder your growth quite a lot and will hinder the future of your gaming to boot. If you think this way, then who will you have to learn from for the future to help you improve? All you'll have is your own intuitions, and that really doesn't help you way too much. So with all this said, let's talk about what you really are missing from this type of prideful thinking. And a lot of the time the prideful thinking won't even happen on purpose, it's just something that kinda happens, and it may not be as radical as I had said before, it may just be something a little bit less, but it still will hinder you quite a bit. First, let's say you are losing to an opponent. Well, if you are using this type of prideful thinking, you probably won't try to learn anything from them. You'll just get angry, and then you'll just leave, not thinking about anything. But, at this time, you're missing a huge prime opportunity to learn from the opponent. You get to see firsthand how they are winning, and if your pride doesn't get in the way, or shut you out in the fact that you were losing, then you may actually be able to implement their own strategy into your own strategy for the future. The same can also be applied when facing a noob or a player that's just a little bit worse than you or just slightly worse than you. If you do battle them and even end up winning, you still should be able to learn something from them if you do pay attention to them a little bit. You may even notice something that you don't do very often. For example, you could see that they try to space with Mario's fireballs while you seldom actually do that in a game. After you see this, you'll be able to easily implement that into your future strategy and it'll probably help you in the future even though you did beat this certain person right then. There's always something to be learned, you just have to get over yourself and look for the information instead. Finally, how do you get over this misconception? Well, let's be honest, this whole thing is a bit of a subconscious problem, so if you merely stop trying to think so toxically about other players, then you'll quickly be able to see some improvement in your gameplay and just in your learning experience. In fact, even recognizing that this thing is happening in the first place may help to solve the problem, but if that doesn't help to solve the problem, you might also just want to try watching other players for a few games, seeing exactly what they do right that you usually don't, and then maybe that will make you realize that you do need to pay attention to them because there's stuff that you can improve on that they can show you. It is very hard to admit this pride to yourself, but once you finally do it, you'll become a much better player, and once it happens, you'll finally be on the fast track to becoming even better at Smash. Thank you guys for watching, I hope this video did help you in any way, shape, or form. Of course, this does not apply to everybody, but I know a lot of people, including myself in the past, that have had this happen to them, where you think a little bit too pridefully, and of course, I did personally implement this tactic, and it did help me improve a lot, and it's just helped me become a lot better player, and I hope that this can happen to you too, if you do struggle with this problem. Thank you guys for watching though, comment down below if you have anything to go about this topic, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you all next time.